being a student athlete is more than just being good at the game, right? It's about doing some good off the field. When COVID hit last season, a lot of student athletes kind of reflected and some took action to help others. Everyone needs to play sports. It's a great thing. A sentiment Justin Ball shares with nearly every high school athlete. He considers himself lucky to play the game he loves, but knows everyone's not as fortunate. I played a lot of teams that didn't have enough equipment to feel the roster, and I, I felt the need to make a difference. So we started a collection drive right after Christmas, and Buffalo came through. He wound up with all of this. To show how much the community cared. It was really inspiring. More than 80 pieces of equipment going to a nonprofit called Victory Sports. It was formed in 2017 by executive director Doug Reifenberg. I have two kids that play youth sports and just kind of started seeing our equipment piling up and figured we could probably collect a lot of equipment and then find kids in, in organizations that need it and just give it back into the community. Nearly four years later, Reifenberg's moving into this space at the Eastern Hills Mall, a room filled with gently used or new equipment that'll benefit those who are under-resourced. The more equipment that comes to us, the more kids and programs that we're able to help. A mission made possible by Doug, his staff, and athletes like Justin all aiming to provide a pick me up for those who need it most. We've heard from kids and from families that like a child's come to the parent and said that I want to play a sport and the mom or dad has had to tell the child we can't afford it. The fact that we are able to then give this equipment to that family so those kids can play. I mean, that's the whole reason why we exist. Now, Doug says they receive emails every day asking for equipment. If you're a team or organization that needs some help, you can send them an email and you can find that info with this story on our website, WKBW.com. In the newsroom, Jenna Caleri, 7 Eyewitness Sports. Oh, Jenna, what a worthy effort. I just love it. Thank you so much for that story.